What's up everybody? It's Caroline here from the DET team with tips to help you test your best. In this video, I've got my friend Nick from support here. Nick, could you talk a little bit about what the DET support team does? I'd love to. So the DET support team is gonna be your first line of defense for all technical difficulties, any issues you're having with credits or coupons, and you're able to reach out to us by selecting the big orange help button at the bottom right of your screen on the homepage or by emailing us. So it's actually humans and not robots who are answering all those chats and emails, right? Oh, 100%. There's only one robot that's involved in the entire customer support process, actually. What's that? It's <laughs> this sick robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so what are, what are we talking about today, Nick? Well, today we're actually going to be going over one of the most common rule-broken problems, which is not closing down all of the background applications when trying to take the Duolingo English test. So why do we have this rule, Nick? Why aren't test takers allowed to have programs running in the background? Good question. So since we're a virtual test that can be taken anywhere, your test center is basically your computer. And because of that fact, we need to be absolutely 150% sure that your testing environment is secure. And to do this, we need to make sure that there's nothing interfering with your test while it's running. And this can be interference through either your hardware, mouse, keyboard, camera, microphone, or software such as screen sharing programs or anything running in the background. A lot of test takers accidentally leave programs running in the background while they take the Duolingo English test, and like Nick said, we actually get a lot of support chats about that with frustrated test takers who didn't even know something was running. So we're going to give you a couple tips for both Windows and Mac on how to make sure all those programs are totally shut down when you start the test. Okay, so first up, let's walk through how to do this on Windows. You want to go to your task tray at the bottom of your screen, and you'll see a few applications here in the system taskbar tray. Make sure that every program in this tray is either logged out or closed entirely. That's it, you're done. So that's easy enough. I'm a Mac user though, so what about on a Mac? On a Mac, it's just as easy. The first step is heading to the dock and then selecting any of your open programs or applications. You'll know they're open by the dot that's underneath. You're going to click, hold, and then select quit from the menu that's popping up. After that, you're able to take your Duolingo English test. All right, well, that sounds pretty easy and straightforward. Thanks, Nick, for explaining it. Test takers, if you have other questions, go directly to our support team. You can find them at the big orange help button on our website. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment down below if you have any other ideas for new videos for us to film. And thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, best of luck to all of you, and we believe in you. See you later, Bye, test, test takers. takers.